Tommy Haas uh, is with us. Uh, Tommy, nice to see you again. Uh, 2009 was the year, if I'm not mistaken, you played semi-final here. Uh, and this, I guess, brings back those memories as well. Yeah, uh, you know, nice memories. Obviously, always nice memories coming back to Wimbledon. First, hit, uh, first time here in 1995, played many times, um, but my yeah, biggest uh, accomplishment was here in 2009, losing to Roger on center court. So, um, yeah, great memories and uh, great to be back. This is, I guess, an uh, excellent opportunity for all of you, for all, for all of us as well, to, to, to meet, to, to exchange some views about tennis these days as well, to talk and, and maybe to, to share some, some experience as well. Yeah, no, it's great for us uh, to, number one, be invited to play the uh, Invitational uh, Legends doubles here. Um, you know, it's, it's great to be still around in the tennis world. If you like that, of course, uh, I certainly still enjoy playing a lot, play a little bit on the seniors tour as well. Um, obviously, tournament director in Indian Wells, which is uh, such a great event and so important uh, on the tennis tour. And, uh, you know, and seeing all these colleagues from, from, you know, from many, many years ago again. So, you know, everybody has uh, uh, different ventures now. Everybody has a family or most yeah. of them have family and kids. So, you know, it's, it's much more relaxed and it's a, it's also a nice thing you're not always feeling like you're so under under pressure of trying to win and uh, going to the next tournament so you can enjoy uh, get to mingle a little bit get to watch some great tennis you know from the current players so um, it's a, it's a it's a great opportunity the tennis was always physical but as we can tell you're still in a Excellent shape. You, you could play on ATP or not? Yeah. <laughs> no, not anymore, um, you know, because you can't, you can't recover as fast and, you know, it's, it's such a grind on the body. But I try to, sp uh, you know, try to stay fit as much as I can. Um, I feel better that way anyway. And uh, I, I still truly enjoy playing tennis. It's, uh, it's a great game. It's fun and uh, it makes, uh, makes life a little bit easier. Yeah, still uh, talking about this year's tournament. Uh, did you have enough time maybe to watch some matches? What do you think uh, about men's and women's tournament as well? Yeah, no, I, I enjoy watching, watch a lot on TV as well uh, when the opportunity is there. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, on the men's side, obviously, it's, it's, it's always pretty much the same old story. You know, who, who is going to win it? How the usual is, suspects, yeah. Yeah, the usual suspects, exactly. Uh, you know, and, and the two guys uh, that we're talking about uh, are still in the, in the run for it. And, uh, you know, maybe most likely there's a chance they're going to meet in the final, which would be great, obviously. But a few other players maybe have something to say about that. And uh, we'll see if a Nick Kyrgios can maybe, uh, you know, put it together. Um, but, you know, I think now it's going to be a test of also how, how fit is he mentally and, uh, and physically to really go all the way. Um, and on the women's side, yeah, some, some, some new um, sort of, you know, German players that we probably didn't expect to get to the quarters or one player that has been around for a long time, sort of, you know, celebrating her big success here for the first time. Niemeyer, a younger German player, is playing uh, exceptionally well. Then you have Halep and you have Jabur, who are sort of like maybe in some ways uh, some of the favorites as well after Sviantek being out. So um, there's always surprises. That's what's great about, you know, lacing up your shoes, going out there and competing and then see what happens. Okay, excellent. Uh, wish you luck and uh, enjoy the tournament as well. Thank you. You too. Take care. All right.